And speaking of air quality, many people are looking to the air quality index levels to see if it is safe to go outside. And one of the sensors in Boise caused some confusion by showing green or good air quality today. Audriel Tackett joins us now. Audriel, can you clear up some of this confusion, especially since we see that the air quality here in Boise hasn't been very clear lately? Yeah, Brenda, these sensors are operated by the DEQ or the Idaho Department of Environmental Equality. There are a few sensor stations in the surrounding area, including Boise, Meridian, Nampa, and Idaho City. The AQI sensors can monitor a multitude of particulate matter, commonly referred to as PM. Particulate matter is also known as particle pollution, and it can be measured at a PM10 level or a PM2.5 level. This refers to size of particles in micrometers. PM2.5 pollution is extremely small, being just 2.5 micrometers or less. PM2.5 is what our wildfire smoke is measured as. The AQI stations in our area have varying monitors and are pollutant specific. The Boise AQI station only measures ozone levels at the PM10 level, so that is why it showed good air quality this morning while other stations showed hazardous air. Over the years, there have been modeling studies of the Treasure Valley that have shown an air shed component to our valley, meaning that typically if you see concentrations in one area, the closest area next to you is more than likely going to have similar concentrations. For instance, the sensors produce results based on the air quality that they're located in. If your city does not have an AQI sensor station, it's recommended by the DEQ to just use the nearest sensor station for reference. It's important to know which stations monitor only certain pollutants. The Idaho DEQ confirmed that there are a multitude of additional private AQI sensor stations. The results from those stations can often be found on other frequently used AQI platforms like Air Now, Watch Duty, or Purple Air, but the DEQ cannot attest to the quality of the private sensor stations, but they do ensure extreme accuracy in their own AQI monitors. And we received a lot of messages with that confusion, so this is very helpful. Thanks for clearing that up, Audrey. Thank you.